Welcome to the Royal Express podcast, a place of music, travel and the expansion of knowledge. Greetings to everyone. This is Royal Express Podcast News. I am Jablan Zulu. We are back. It's a Monday. We are on day 479 of our national lockdown alert level 4 and we are starting with some good news down in Durban. The Etegwini municipality has confirmed that things will start to get back to normal as of today and they will start to collect a refuse and three more suspects have been arrested in connection with unrest started in Durban a week ago and also we have seen yesterday the president of the country, President Cyril Maposa, was at Maponya Mall in Pinville in Soweto. He took the opportunity of Mandela Day to encourage all the South Africans to unite in the spirit of Madiba to rebuild and clean the country after the looting. President Cyril Maposa was at Maponya Mall to assess the damage that was caused by the looters last week. And also, we have seen the Guazul Natal Economic Development, Tourism and Environmental Affairs saying they have received a number of complaints from different customers complaining about the food price. Some of the stores, they took the opportunity of the food shortages to hike the price. So remember, we have reported on that story partially last week that there's a shortages of food and fuel around KZN as well as in Gauteng. And also we have seen the National Freedom Party has asked the Correctional Service Minister Ronald Lamola to give the former president Jacob Zuma a compassionate leave so that he can able to attend his brother's funeral. So now we have heard last week that the brother to a former president Jacob Zuma has died. So the National Freedom Party has asked the Justice and Correctional Service Minister Ronald Lamola to give a former president a compassionate leave to attend the funeral of his brother. On the lighter note, we have seen it was a sporting weekend over the weekend. The African National Congress has joined the South Africans to congratulate the football team, a national football team, Bofana Bofana, uh, after beating Senegal 5-4 in the Kosovo Cup, taking that title for the fifth time. So we say congratulations indeed to Bafana Bafana. And also we have seen the anticipated final of the CAF Champions League. The South African team, the Sowetan team, Kaiser Chiefs, uh, against the Al Ali, the Egyptians. We have seen Kaiser Chiefs going down 3 0 on that game. And the Al Ali coach Bizum Simana says he knew the starting lineup of Stuart Baxter, which is a coach of Kaiser Chiefs. Indeed, that was a very anticipated uh, match against uh, Al Ali over the weekend. Let's pack it here for the time being. We shall have another news next time. Have yourself a great day. I remember we met uh, a while back. It hasn't been a year, it was like November, November last year. We met in Durban, very random on Florida Road, but we just clicked. <laughs> and you've just been that individual that I've been following. And I'm like, man, I need to sit down with her and have a conversation. And it's it's unfortunate that, that we haven't seen each other again in person, ne? right? <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. All these lockdowns. But, but yeah, we're, yeah, we're here now. How are you? How are you keeping since I met you? I, I'm doing very well. I mean, there's been ups and downs, um, a lot of healing in between, a lot of self-reflections and introspections. There's just been a lot. Um, even Durban, well, the breeze has changed. It's not the same as that day, of course. There's been a lot of changes around of which, I mean, we're all just trying to adapt into but um i've been doing very well and yeah yeah thank you for having me oh it's, it is only a pleasure only a pleasure um for you also as you mentioned uh reflections and healing that's also the the the, the topics that i want us to go into today um tell us about tell us who you are because i see you'll be 
posting spiritual things, things of wellness and healing. You sitting with about Joshua Maponga having conversations and I'm like, "Girl, I'm so jelly." <laughs> so, who are you? Who who is Mela? Like what do you do? Like I love your spirit. Tell us more about you. Okay, I'll just share about the Mela that uh, people I've never met before uh because the mela today is going to be different to the mela that I'll meet tomorrow myself mm-hmm. but upamela um o agache tayo from empangini kesagam tetwa i yeah i grew up in empangini came to durban been around south africa <laughs> so <laughs> i would like in all the places i've been to Um, through all of that, I discovered myself. Um, by discovering myself, maybe I should just say that in in the discovery, I found that okay, I'm very um, aware of certain things. Um, I got myself in spaces where I I got to open more about who I really am and understand the light that I carry with me. and that directed me into uh, the wellness um uh what do you call this the wellness um <laughs> world yeah, the wellness side world. of the world, world. <laughs> yeah so through the wellness i i became a, a life coach certified and also a meditation teacher um a writer sometimes i also sing sometimes and all of that uh, is a spiritual connection you know Um so through all those journeys that I've I've had in my life they just guided me to the person that I am today. So I'm a life coach, writer, spiritual coach as well, meditation teacher and also a musician. Uh but there's a lot more that's coming out of me because there's so much that I there's so much lights that I have to share with the world that God wants me to share. So that's me in a nutshell. Um yeah. Mm. I share about my my spiritual journey with people. I share about different ways of healing, different ways of um tuning in with yourself, understanding who you are and tapping into uh different dimensions and uh, different dimensions of how you can create yourself in this world instead of trying so hard to find yourself because I think the goal is not to find yourself because there's no you that's standing somewhere else. it's just you creating yourself in the now so that's that's who i am and who i'm always opening myself to just trying to create myself and helping and encouraging people to also create themselves in the space that they in with themselves in that very moment so yeah true 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 um I will have a bulk of questions later. I want you to quickly to go into your travel wellness because you also host mm. hikes for healing. Tell us more about that and then I'll yeah. jump to more questions after that. Perfect. Okay. So, I started hiking on my own because I started seeing the fact that I started seeing the need for me to tune in with nature, breathing, um walking and also connecting with everything that is of which was obviously um nature so when i started h- hiking i started healing and i felt that okay this will be great for me to share with my community especially my community the black community i was like okay this is a beautiful form of healing like when you're there in nature you don't feel any pressure no anxiety you tune into nature you listen to the sound and it takes you back towards yourself so i started hike, uh, hiking to heal sessions with um uh, sisters and brothers as well so it's for everyone so we hike and like journeys and how we heal even if you're a person that wasn't aware that you are in on a journey of healing you end up opening yourself up, up to where you are healing what are you healing or what needs to be healed and what are the forms you can heal for yourself and also you tune into or you get into a state where you allow yourself to heal yourself um and from there i mean it gets to a lot of things things come out out of you as a person so for me guiding that 
you tap into your own ways of healing i just give you different forms and teach you certain ways and that you can allow yourself or help yourself with to heal mm, i think that it's it's very important that you mention that sometimes you don't even know that you're in a journey of healing and then mm. you need to find yourself in that space where you can actually allow yourself first accept the fact that you are in a process of needing to heal yeah. and start at seeing the signs that you do need to heal and then allow yourself right yeah. it takes a lot it's a huge step but if you're in a safe environment hence like being mm. in isn't and taking the processes and going on the hikes you are in that presence that will allow you to to become what yes. you become and actually take that process of healing which is so 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 beautiful i love what you're doing um you also said something about being patient with yourself can we go into mm-hmm. more details of it is that process of accepting the situation that you're in accepting that you need to heal take the steps to heal and then be patient with yourself in knowing who you are in this world and who you are in the situation that you in the circumstances that you in and the level of a human being that you at in that particular moment in time like t- tell us more about that and how you became aware of that and how it's important for other people to be aware of that and be kind to themselves and patient to themselves yeah just take us more deeply into that so with patience i w- i would say firstly i wasn't i wasn't a person who was um ever patient in life i would i was rushing everything everything had to be like fast for me uh, until it took me to listen i think listening was the first step for me listening to myself listening to others being aware like if i'm in a space give myself time not not expect things to just flow as i think they should flow just give myself time in in that space and allow things to communicate with me like especially my senses i think senses are very important allow even if you eat and give yourself time to taste be patient in 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 that taste and and don't rush and, and if it's milk if you're drinking milk don't rush milk to taste like milk in that moment wait for the milk to be you know <laughs> So it was it was just giving myself time listening and and allow myself to understand what is happening be in the proce- process of understanding so it's listening understanding and acceptance because I had to understand that things are not going to happen at the time that I want them to happen mm. people are not going to respond the way that I want them to respond and some people might not receive the message that I'm sharing at the time uh but when um when the time is right for them it will catch them so it was just that that yeah. that thing of just listening and and giving things time you know give give things time as 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 allow them to 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 go as they should and not want them to go as I want them to to to, to go yeah so it was just listening and accepting and understanding yeah I, i i completely understand you i mean i have i have memories of frustration just listening to you like they're like triggers of past frustrations that are like i know exactly what you're talking about yeah. um, because it is it is frustrating it is frustrating because you want things to happen then and now and the moment where you actually have to stop and listen like i i remember i've had moments even in a shopping center in the middle of pick and pay where i'm like okay no sipo calm down breathe let's listen to what you need to do right now do i leave now or do, like i needed to rush to a friend but like there was no need for me to rush but mm. i was being put under pressure and i'm like okay maybe there's something else going on like you don't want to get into an any accident or anything stop rushing like stop and breathe and listen <laughs> even if you look stupid standing in the middle of pick and pay yeah. doing nothing but you just really have to listen it's so okay. yeah it is okay but now what 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 happened when it comes to friends if you're someone that has friends maybe you've had like a lot of friends in the past like how do you actually deal with friendships pressure relationships family cuz all these elements they bring mm. pressure into your life and sometimes you don't want to fall for it 
but you end up just mm. being consumed by the pressure and time limits around you that you don't get the time to listen to yourself what do you do in those cases okay so in cases like that what i i'm going to talk from experience what i had to learn was me understanding how i operate understanding how i do things how i like how i like to to be listened to like the, the the way that i want people to listen to me the way that i would like for people to react when um, i'm saying something or doing something mm. with them or whatever understanding myself first because it oh, allowed so me to you. share that with yes yeah. so that, that allows allowed me to share with others in kindness and allow them to be whoever they want to be around me because i was impatient because inside of me there was a lot going on i didn't understand myself so i wanted everything i wanted myself out of others a lot and me wanting myself out of others made them react the way that i was inside of myself so they wouldn't listen they wouldn't listen they wouldn't do things that i wasn't doing for myself so it took me just sitting with myself understanding myself first and understanding that okay i'm different in different days weeks um and the way i communicate with people also is different if i'm talking to a nurse i'm 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 talking a certain way if i'm talking to my mom i'm talking a certain way because i have a certain perception of who nosy really is um or who my mom is or who the other person is instead of who i am as upamela and mm. understanding how i flow or how i deal in the relationship so it was more of me expecting myself out of others a lot that created um certain misunderstandings or differences so me understanding me allowed me to take them as they are and accept them as they are however the response is not my problem or theirs it's just a matter of where we are where we both are with ourselves not even about how i want to most to look at me or how i want to know so to perceive me as it was just a matter of where i was with myself so i always at always encourage that understand yourself first it will be easy for you to accept the other person as they are it's going to be easy for you to also not feel either intim- intimidated or feel offended by how people react people react differently and that's because of where they are with themselves it's not always about you 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 be open to their differences because also you are different yourself in different ways in around different people so allow yourself to accept who you are understand who you are so you wouldn't want yourself outside uh of others and things and like expect have expectations i mean yes expectations i big though so don't expect from from outside create those boundaries but also don't expect people to respect those boundaries you have to respect those boundaries yourself first in order for others to respect them so it's all it always starts from within so everything had to start with me so that was just yeah a process that i had to learn myself it took years because also letting go of certain things that have been instilled for 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 a lot of years or from childhood it's not, it's not easy to like let go of those things within us it's yeah, a process yeah, so so yeah. allowing myself to learn in that learning as well and unlearning that learning and allow myself to process certain things and even accepting others what well, hasn't been hard but it's slowly becoming better since I'm, i've accepted myself my changes i also change each and every day every second every minute even after this conversation there's something inside of me that's going to change so understanding all those things that yes you change frequently and people do as well so you can't have one perception of a person in your head just because when the first time you met them they were rude or they were so kind they can be anything at any time so mm-hmm. allow allow people to be who they are allow yourself to be who you are but also be open to experiencing yourself and learning more of yourself so it will be easy for you to also experience others yeah oh, <laughs> that was beautiful so what drives you like today specifically who you are now what what drives you um what drives me is my healing journey 
uh, <laughs> and um honestly how i've been um communicating with people or meeting people it's not even i wouldn't even say it's spiritual beings or it's uh people it's just how i'm experiencing myself in this world you know i meet different people different people and in all of them since i started being open to the fact that people that drink dif- different perspectives are different our ways of communicating is different it has allowed me to learn so much about myself about god about also how i'm opening myself to the world so uh, i'm 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 that healing journey has just my inspiration um and it's it has helped me also just be open to the fact that i have so many gifts within me and um there's still more you know so my journey has inspired me so so much even with people that i meet in their different uh journeys and their different beings even you you've inspired me i mean <laughs> oh. my healing <laughs> thank my you my healing made me um meet you and through meeting you i've i've healed so many things within myself so it's my healing journey that has inspired me so much because i think if i never started my healing journey i wouldn't have met you at that time we met we wouldn't even be having this conversation i would be somewhere else about in my journey so yeah. my yeah. healing has really inspired me and i encourage healing so much learn about yourself heal as much as you can and it's a process it's a journey uh, allow it to be whatever it wants to be and how it's revealing itself towards you so it's my healing journey <laughs> It's 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 true in you when you say that because when we met I was in my own journey as well taking steps towards healing and um I was in Durban for that you know just being brave and we were out there taking photographs I think you were taking photographs on Florida Road and I was taking photographs on Florida Road. like we were with cameras and other friends as well cuz you were with a group of people and I was alone so it's just You know when you meet someone and you understand the energy that you guys have together that just it clicks and it makes sense. So hearing you say that it really does resonate with me that yeah, you know, when you're in that journey your vibrations will draw in the people that need to be in your life and it's all part yeah. of that that greater purpose. Yeah. So what what is your from here going forward? I mean we know that it will it will ever be changing but your core and greatest ultimate dream and purpose what is that for you what does it look like So uh, it looks like my black community healing um being selfless um being selfish it's okay to be selfish <laughs> my community um <laughs> being together again <laughs> uh of of healing of love of of success however you portray success as as being in in wherever we want to be together sibambene so that's that's me like that's how i vision my future as traveling the world together in different groups creating um oasis me creating a wellness oasis for my black community you creating an oasis through whatever unites us me and you and those that are connected to you and those that are connected to me we create this empire we create this this <laughs> i don't even know what to call it but that's that's where i envision my dreams uh when i say we hack to heal us going out there maybe in a, Uh, Kenya in um, Mozambique hiking there building another community in wherever we get to learning about our differences and different cultures exploring the world sharing our lives and um making every me just building an oasis for the black community um we do what we are best at being in love having ubuntu and sharing and ourselves with the world 
I love it. I love it. I can see your passion as and excitement as you're talking. I'm just like, yes, let's go for it. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> so, so um, t- why are your locations secret? Your your hiking locations. Uh, the reason why they they are secretive. Okay, I I don't mind sharing when someone asks me, "Where is this? Where is this?" Mm-hmm. Uh, I I I I like um. Allowing people, so if I have a group, so let's say I get a group maybe of 10 people, I like them um, experiencing that on their own without having to show the world, oh, this is where I, I'm healing, mm-hmm. or this is what I'm doing. This Make it always. sacred. Um, I like them to yeah, experience it fully and just be present, allow yourself to be in that space because what has happened before is when I disclosed um, the the venue other people came that were not part of it and i'm not saying it was bad or there was something wrong with that but it, it wasn't you know it, they just came because they knew where we were and they just decided to and they didn't understand what we we're doing so when i tried to explain like oh it's a lazy, it's a lazy, you know um so it's always best for me to like respect that other people's Spaces because some of them do come from healing and some of them just never know why why they they but then they experience something not really protecting but making sure that people feel safe because it's a safe space feel safe in that space because not everyone uh, feels um, okay with being around a lot of people or just having random people rocking in they they mm-hmm. just want to be heard. You know, some some just wants to be heard, and if there's people that are just popping up for no reason, or but no it's a muscular box, see, and then I respect space, so that's the reason why I never disclose. But if someone asks, maybe after a hike or after a long time, I don't mind sharing. Uh, but if it's gonna be like a hike that I'm hosting at that time, I don't, I, I don't disclose the space, even with the camps as well. Um, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I do camps as well. That's beautiful. It's a sacred space, you know. It's yeah, the the, the energy already it sets the tone for for the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Be, be, before closing because we'll be wrapping up very soon i also wanted to know from you what you would say to people um because we know you know these things can become a trend like let's go traveling let's go here and there and um being woke and being awake and being a spiritual healer or a guide or of, of what source how important would you say it is for people to be certified to actually get qualifications and be certified and study this and be professional in it if you're going to be a life coach. When I also post on Facebook and suddenly you've become a life coach because you've healed from your own situation. But how important is it to really yeah. be certified so you can truly help other people? Okay. Firstly, yes, you are certified as, as you. Uh, when you've healed you you are certified when you came to earth you were already certified to become a healer to be a healer or to be the person that you are but also be open to learning so learning allows you to tap into different ways or different wisdom that you carry with you so it allows you to open to your own wisdom so it's okay to learn have people teach you um you who's to 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 help others because you're dealing with people and people respond differently because of either their traumas their childhood or where they've been or like their tri- triggers are different so it's okay to understand and learn how people are triggered what uh, how people respond to certain triggers so you as a healer uh, allow yourself to learn those things from people that have did the research and um, people that have been in the industry for a long time. So allow yourself to re- learn from others and get the certification that prompts you to, I wouldn't say prompts, okay, that allows you to uh, 
deal with people different deal with different people from different spaces in a certain way because not everyone is going to respond as responded towards your healing as we as you as a person responded to your growth as well so learning is very important learn 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 every day i think if you're a wellness coach um fitness coach whatever coach learning is something that we live for we learn every second so it's also important for you to learn get the information it's just there for us it's always there for us there's a lot of information out there in books so get that certification so also as we to deal with people the right way not the way that you feel fits you know for for, for you to to do it others yeah that's very true so before we say goodbye miss mela please tell us are there any misconceptions about you that you would like to clear up anything that you wish for more people to understand and know about you angisona esangoma i i i i don't know like i'm angisona guys everything about me mina i'm just there to help you find ways to heal yourself i'm not gonna heal you only you can save yourself so don't come at me and expecting me to heal you and you know give bulelis into i'm not that <laughs> i am my own i'm i will help you heal yourself and <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's just that cuz at at people miss understand that i'm i'm not part of any anything i'm just a part of you and love is my region i think people always ask about my region kulani pola kula cuz they see me sharing about christianity um mm-hmm. oh my this and that i believe in love love is my religion and that's it <laughs> it means that siabonga for that you you provide the tools and yes. the guidelines but it's it's you it's your journey it's your own healing heal yourself yeah. <laughs> i guess this is really guys i oh my like asoni sangoma she is who she is beautiful lovely woman of healing and growth and peace and most importantly love love is the most Yay. important energy that we go to every single day and that we share with other people thank you so much for being in this space it's been a beautiful conversation a beautiful journey with you thank you so much for having me i am praying for this podcast to grow and so that people can learn more about themselves and their experiences and businesses and um I'm blessing each and every listeners business growth healing family love journey spiritual journey I'm blessing all of you guys thank you for listening and for sharing this podcast this amazing podcast <laughs> thank you Nasi for being the amazing woman that you are thank you for your growth your healing and your love wow. thank you thank you thank you so much all right we'll be sharing this on the royal express podcast it's going to be on podbean on wordpress spotify itunes we're going on to soundcloud we're going on to so many platforms so it's going to be so much easier to find and then also our own website will be developing soon so we'll be seeing you on all digital platforms thank you so much for today Thank you. This is the Royal Express podcast. Make sure to subscribe, follow and like. Thank you for joining me.